Representing your country is the pinnacle of any sport and what every young person aspires to accomplish. These players had the opportunity to fulfill this dream, but for various reasons, did not play state of origin football. For this list, players obviously must be eligible to play for either New South Wales or Queensland, so Semi Raj Raja, who played for Australia in 2016, will not be considered for this list. So, this is Greatest Game of All, and these are 10 players that represented Australia, but never played State of Origin. Number 10, Joel Clinton. Many people remember Joel Clinton as the person on the back of that Sonny Bill Williams big hit. A bit of attention, he went head first into the turf in diving on that loose ball. Clint oh, oh. Clinton has hit foot on by Sonny Bill. Wait, wait. This is colossal. Oh. The left shoulder of Sonny Bill, oh. two of the heavyweights. Oh, knocks him back. And Clinton, to his credit, said I'll take him on again. Give me a rematch. Dominic. Nevertheless, Joel Clinton had a well-respected career playing 182 games, playing the most of his career with the Panthers, which included their premiership win in 2003. He then spent the last two years of his career at the Brisbane Broncos. After winning the 2003 premiership and a great start to the 2004 season, he was selected for his one and only Australian appearance in 2004. Starting in the front row, his team defeated New Zealand 37-10. Although Origin 1 was just over a month away, he didn't get selected for the New South Wales Blues, beaten to selection by Mark O'Mealy, Jason Riles, and Luke Bailey. Number 9, Alex Johnston. Alex Johnston debuted in 2014 and has played 129 games for his one and only club, the South Sydney Rabbitohs, scoring an impressive 88 tries. In 2015, he got picked on the wing for the Aussies in the Anzac Test match. His team lost quite easily to the Kiwis 26-12 and was unable to score a try. Although playing a game for Australia, he hasn't really been in contention for a spot in the New South Wales Blues side. He has been stuck behind some great finishers like Brett Morris, Blake Ferguson and Josh Mansour. Johnston is still only 25 years of age and still has the chance to pull on the blue jumper and fulfil his dream. Number 8, Andrew Walker. Andrew Walker played 145 games in his career for three different clubs. From 1992 to 1999, he played for the Dragons and the Roosters. He then had a stint in Rugby Union where he also represented Australia. He returned back to Rugby League to play one season with the Manly Sea Eagles in 2004. Playing only the one game for Australia in 1996, he came off the bench in Australia's 52-6 thrashing of Papua New Guinea. Walker is quite possibly the most talented player on this list, however he was somewhat inconsistent and never got a call up for the Blues. He was stuck behind the likes of Matthew Johns and two Hall of Famers in Brad Fittler and Laurie Daly. Number 7, Rennie Matua. Rennie Matua played 174 games in the NRL between 2004 and 2014. He played for three clubs including the Eels, Sharks and a majority of his career with the Bulldogs where he won a premiership in 2004. Matua got selected to play for Australia at the end of 2006 in the Tri-Nation series. He started at lock in his one and only appearance for the Greening Gold, where his side won 30-18, defeating New Zealand. Unfortunately, he injured his right ankle, which forced him out of the series, and ultimately, he never made it back into the Australian team. When it came to trying to make the New South Wales Blues side, he was stuck behind the likes of some great players like Ben Kennedy, Nathan Hindmarsh, Steve Menzies, and his own club teammate at the time, Andrew Ryan. Number 6, Sione Mataudia. Sione Mataudia debuted in 2014 for the Newcastle Knights and, at the time of recording, has played 116 games. Currently playing second row for the Knights, he started his career in the back line, switching between the fullback and wing positions. At the end of 2014, and after just 7 NRL games, Sione was selected in Australia's Four Nations side on the wing. He won his first two matches against England and Samoa respectively, and scored a try in a losing effort against New Zealand. He has never really been in consideration for the New South Wales Blues, despite playing for Australia. He was stuck behind the likes of Jared Hayne, Daniel Tupo, Brett Morris, and most recently in the second row, Tyson Frizzell and New South Wales captain, Boyd Cordner. Number 5, Nathan Blacklock. 
Nathan Blacklock, who goes by the nickname of the Tinger Tornado, played 114 games between 1995 and 2004. He played two tests for Australia in 2001 against Papua New Guinea, where he scored two tries on debut, and Great Britain respectively, where he won both games. Despite being the leading try scorer three years in a row from 1999 to 2001, and Warren Smith being certain that he will get picked for the New South Wales Blues, after this incredible try. Blacklock, down the sideline, chipping over the top of Joel Kane, but a red service bounce! He never got picked for the New South Wales Blues, with New South Wales going with the likes of Adam McDougal, Jamie Ainsco, and Matt Geyer. Number four, Darren Britt. Darren Britt played for both the Western Suburbs Magpies and Canterbury Bulldogs, totaling 227 first grade games between 1989 and 2001. He played in three grand finals for the Bulldogs, winning his one and only premiership in 1995. He played the most amount of games for Australia out of anyone on this list, with nine appearances between 1998 and 2000. He played against New Zealand five times, and England, Great Britain, Papua New Guinea and Samoa all once each, winning eight of his nine matches. Despite being a very solid front row forward throughout his career, he never made the Blues side being stuck behind some really good players such as Robbie Kearns, Rodney Howe, Jason Stevens, and Michael Vella. Number three, Luke Keary. Debuting in 2013 and has played 140 games to date, Luke Keary has won premierships for both clubs he has played for having success with the Rabbitohs in 2014 and the Roosters in 2018, where he won the Clive Churchill Medal Award and 2019. He was selected to start at 5'8 for Australia during the Four Nations competition at the end of the 2018 season, playing a total of two games, losing to New Zealand and winning against Tonga. Luke's alliance for State of Origin is interesting. Even though he was born in Ipswich, Queensland and wanting to play for Queensland, he played most of his junior footy and school footy in New South Wales, classifying him eligible for the New South Wales Blues. In 2019, he was all but going to be named to play for the Blues before getting his fourth head knock in the space of two years, forcing him out of the game and the series. There is no doubt that if he stays healthy, he will be playing Origin in the very near future. Number 2. Chris Lawrence Chris Lawrence debuted for the West Tigers in 2006 at only 17 years of age. He has currently played 245 games for the Tigers and scored 84 tries. He played six tests at Centre for Australia, one in 2010 and five in 2011. He scored four tries and won all six games, including three against New Zealand, two times against England, including the 2011 Four Nations Final, and once against Wales. He was quite unlucky to never get picked for State of Origin despite his New South Wales Blues being in the mix of a record-breaking losing streak. The Blues decided to go with guys like Matt Cooper, Mark Gasnier, and Michael Jennings, who were all selected in front of him. The closest he came to playing was when he got selected as 18th man for Game 3 of the 2010 Origin Series. And number 1, Jake Friend. Jake Friend is arguably the unluckiest player to not play Origin on this list. Friend debuted for the Sydney Roosters in 2008 playing 250 games at the time of recording, winning three premierships. He played just the one game for Australia where he was selected in 2016 for the Four Nations competition. He came off the bench against Scotland which Australia went on to win 54-12. With luck certainly not on his side, Friend was stuck behind none other than one of the greatest rugby league players of all time in Cameron Smith. In the last couple of years, injuries also kept him out of the Origin Arena. At the age of 30, it looks like he only has a couple of seasons left to grab that Queensland Maroon jersey, and it could even happen this year. So, what did you think of our list? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and chug us a like on Facebook, end this video and subscribe to our channel for more Rugby League Countdowns.